I was baptised and confirmed in the Episcopalian Church of Scotland and later initiated into Alexandrian Wicca. And I created my spiritual path as a consequence of having been ostracised by both Christian and pagan priesthoods. My excommunication from the Christian Church happened when I was young and naive in the flower power era of the 60s. I suppose it wasn't actually an official excommunication, but nevertheless, it, well, I suppose it was. I really, to this day, I don't even know, but I had mentioned to my local Anglican priest that I would soon be leaving Canberra to live with my boyfriend. And his response really took me by surprise. He said something like, are you aware that you won't be able to take the sacrament? And I couldn't be sure that I had heard him correctly, so I, I asked him and he repeated his statement um, and he added that I would be living in sin and wouldn't be allowed to take communion as long as I was living in sin. And the fact that I wasn't breaking any state or federal law or committing any crime made no difference to this young priest. He was quite adamant. It, it was just utterly inconceivable to me that the church, whose clergymen preach love from the precinct of the pulpit, would treat love outside that precinct with such hypocrisy. So completely disillusioned by the experience, leaving the church was one of the easiest decisions I have ever made. I established a kinship with various pagan beliefs and practices. Eventually, you know, this was later on. And this led to my eventual initiation into a system of Ale Alexandrian Wicca. A few years later, there were major internal disputes. So, having now been twice bitten, I decided to continue my spiritual journey alone.